Are you familiar with the story of Icarus who flew too close to the sun? In this video, we share our version. I'm Jimmy and this is Andrew, and we're testing out the new Bagod Master Suspension Electric Unicycle, the world's first EUC with a 134 volt system, and we'll share our thoughts on this powerful wheel. But just like Icarus who soared with wings of feather and wax, defying the laws of nature and man, looking as if a god to those who were on the ground and feeling like one too, he ignored the warnings of his father and flew closer and closer to the sun. The master has big batteries, a big motor, and the highest voltage system ever seen that eventually leads to overconfidence during this ride and one master of a disaster. I heard somewhere that tech progresses so quickly that every few years it doubles its capabilities. It wasn't too long ago when 50 pounds was heavy for an EUC and 30 miles an hour felt fast. Now, EUC tech has doubled. Next gen EUCs can weigh nearly 100 pounds with 100 mile range and top speeds of 60 miles an hour. EUCs now come with accessories like kickstands, displays, high-end foot pedals, power pads, and plush suspension, things EUC riders could only dream of just a few years ago. The torque is insane on this. Compared to the S20, You'd go upstairs and you could do it, but you'd hear that motor whine. Every time you do it on the master, there's zero motor whine. So if you're all about torque, this is probably the suspension wheel for you. We're gonna go find some more stuff to go up and over and through. All right, let's keep riding. Ooh, those are big <laughs> Did you feel bottoming it out? I think you definitely want to upgrade the suspension on here. It's fine, but it's just a little bit too bouncy for me. And we're still trying to find what's perfect on this wheel for us. Like I said, this is a high maintenance suspension compared to the King Song S20 or even the S18, which we've been riding here. All right, now it's my turn to go down some stairs. So great though. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Whoa, my feet fell off on that one. It went down it a okay, little so slower. And that first drop, my feet came up and off the pedals. And I think that's because there's nothing to hold my feet in. You know, there's all this room. I, I guess maybe I should be wearing bigger shoes, but my feet just came up. So the pad setup, while it looks pretty darn cool, uh, at least for me, I think I would prefer something like Clark pads or Grizzly pads. Um, just because I feel like those are more functional. Or even but, the pads on the Kingsong S22 are more yeah, functional. The, uh, yeah, the pads on the Kingsong S22 seem to hold me in a little bit better. But let me let me give it another try, okay. just, to, just to be fair. Suspension works really good. Uh, compared to the Hero, I would say so far, I, this is better than the Hero, not as good as the Kingsong S22. Should we go find some more stairs? Yeah. I barely see that suspension compressed. Yeah, it's the same with the Hero though. If you love Bugotti wheels, you're not gonna be disappointed with this so far. This feels like a Bugotti wheel. It's got the torque, it's got the speed, it's got the power. The suspension is pretty darn good and I would say it's the best suspension I've ever felt in a Bugotti wheel. And I keep saying Bugotti and some of you guys are gonna clown me on this. So Bugode, all right? This is the best suspension on a Bagode wheel. It's a good suspension wheel, but it's a very good power wheel. Fit and finish is meh. The bolts that they use on the battery casing seems cheap. The bolts that are in the trolley handle, those are also cheap and really short. Where the foam was covering that tail light, right? Exactly. There, were some, there were some gaps there. Yeah, just that cheap plastic that's over that tail light that broke. The bolts that are in the trolley handle, the bolts that are in the battery um, battery covers. It's a really nice wheel, but there's just a few things that aren't the greatest. And then the durability. It definitely has an Achilles heel. It's Achilles heel is that tail light. It's exposed, it's not reinforced, it's not protected, and it's made of fragile plastic, which broke on a really slow fall. So kind of a bummer. Let's keep riding. Andrew, why don't you take the wheel now? Yeah. We find these things out so that we can tell Bagode these things and hopefully they can rectify them. You know, we've been knocking on it, but it's by far the best wheel that has suspension and torque. All right, the camera never shows it, but this was uh, uphill seated and he climbed that thing no problem. 
There are high expectations for the Bagode Master, the highest voltage system ever in an EUC, combined with social media clips of Chinese engineers abusing the Master on trails, along with descriptions online of how the Master could reach speeds of 60 miles an hour, implanted thoughts into our heads that this new EUC would be the master of the EUC universe. Woo! Any thoughts on the Caesar riding? I like it. It felt pretty smooth going up that big curb. The high performance Bagode Master inspired confidence, which morphed into hubris as Andrew consistently tucked his arms behind him like a downhill longboarder, bombing down a mountain while leaning into this 134 volt system as if he were remaking a Michael Jackson music video. Andrew became Icarus, soaring higher towards the sun, and I recognized it. I even warned him. I told him to slow down, but his confidence in the master was too high, and pride came before the fall, literally. How was it? Oh, it's great, man. This thing is very fast. It had beeps. I think it hit 70 kilometers an hour and then started beeping on me. So I, I kind of laid off of it because I don't really want to risk myself just for you guys out there. <laughs> so. Because Andrew and I had been swapping the master throughout the day, and my phone was connected to the master during the time of the crash, we don't know how fast the wheel was going at that time. We do know that the master had about 60% charge, and I estimate based on the ride footage that he was traveling about 40 to 45 miles at the time of the crash. What I know for sure is that Andrew's safety gear did a great job. All right, he took quite the spill. What happened? I pushed it too hard past those beeps. <sighs> oh man, look at that chunk of flesh. Luckily, man, lazy rolling gear. Really probably saved me. I got a little bit of bruising right there. Ooh. But for the most part, dude, I can't believe I'm still like walking right now. It's crazy. I'm blown away. Let's look at the damage, wow. Yeah. yeah shredded. I should have been more careful. I heard a beeping and I just thought, hey, it's probably like on the lower end of the beep, I'll probably be fine. And um, yeah, pushed it too hard. But it just goes to show you like safety gear is so important, man. Look how mad Max's this helmet got. Yeah. I could feel myself constantly rolling. My problem was this actually, this did really well. I was pushing off and then when I went to go stop, I actually pushed my finger down on, this, on the asphalt. But for the most part, man, man, I'm lucky to be walking and not have any broken bones that I can know of. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. It'll be a soft tissue thing, but holy but, cow. Yeah, and I was just saying, I'm not gonna push it too hard. Yeah. Okay, well, so, let's, uh, Where did you... the wheel go? So Andrew had his spill and the wheel tumbled into the bushes. Andrew's all bloody, cut up and it's uh we were on that road over there and we've been looking right around here and for maybe 15 minutes no sign of the wheel we decided to i decided to come on this path over here to see if looking from a different perspective might be able to find it but no it's over there that's Holy a good crap. like 70 50, 75 feet at least i'd say like 30 yards yeah holy cow so it's right there do you, i don't know if you see that Wow, that's that is incredible. Yeah. Well, here's the light. Ooh. Just like you said, that's probably the weakest point is the light. I wonder if it'll turn back on still. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It looked like it took a pretty big tumble. Oh, look, it's still on. It's actually still on and still balancing. Wow, but that thing is trashed. Holy cow. That front light. Man, I feel terrible. One of the first masters here and I destroyed it. You wanna grab that one? And I can ride this there. one. You sure? Yeah, I don't want you to risk getting messed up again. I'll just I'll ride on this path and hook up on there. Okay. In a second. Take it easy. Yeah, I'm gonna take it easy. Holy cow, I can't believe it still rides. Holy cow. I cannot believe this thing is still running, so <laughs> Yeah, but you can see the box is open. The display still works, but fully yeah. exposed in there. So let's take a look at the damage here. The trolley handle stayed in. 
That was That's good. good. <laughs> we were four for four for this thing coming out, so I'm surprised it didn't pop out. So the, the biggest casualties were, was this headlight here. So the headlight busted up, and then you've got the controller box open and exposed. You've got components coming out. I don't even want to push that back in. Light got ripped out. And then in the back, that Achilles heel is uh, no longer there. Torn Achilles, completely torn. Uh, the fender is busted in several places. Uh, surprisingly, this is intact. The stand is intact. Pedals look good. And then the battery casings, they look like they're, they're intact, actually. Look like they're in good shape. Spin it around for a minute. Yeah, this side looks good. So basically, the two front ends took a beating. Light gone. This just hanging by a thread. Oh, you can see the metal crack through here. This housing cracked right there. That's cast metal. Yeah, but it's split in two now. We had finished filming our unboxing, assembling, and initial impressions video. And then we decided to go for a little bit of a joyride. Nothing different from anything we've done with the other wheels. The Kingsong S20, the Abrams, the Sherman Max. I just got greedy, you know. They say greedy pigs get slaughtered and I was just trying to go fast. I thought at 60% the battery was still high enough. And I heard the beeps. I was just, I heard the beeps earlier when I was running and it didn't fall on me. So I thought, oh, I can ride the beeps, I'll be fine. But it just is a lesson learned that, you know, you're not invincible and it's important to wear safety gear because a, I feel lucky to be alive. I hit really hard. So thankful for really good safety gear, thankful for lazy rolling, thankful for EVs for sending over this Predator helmet for me, and um, also for Demon for the wrist guards, because I'm sure my wrist, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for these knee pads. In my head, actually, look at this thing. Yeah. I was just like, I felt I was dragging on my helmet, and I felt I was sliding hard, so. I'm just thankful that I'm up walking. I feel no broken bones. I've got some bleeding going on that I definitely need to clean out, but for the most part, man, I, I feel blessed that I'm still in one piece. I should have listened to the beeps, but you know, on the King Song, you can, I've always heard the beeps and it's pretty fine to ride the beeps, but on the goad wheels, they do say when you hear the beeps, you should definitely lay off of it. All right, pretty busted up. We still got to head back. And as Andrew said, surprisingly, it still rides fine. But uh, we're gonna take some precautions when we get back, unplug the batteries and uh, put her away. Just because with an accident like this, you just never know what could have happened with the batteries. The fact that the Master still operated after such a big crash is super impressive. While not perfect with its fragile exposed headlight and brittle taillight, a trolley handle with premature ejection problems, and a kickstand that still feels a little off, the core of the Master still excites me. The Master is a powerful wheel with decent suspension, which gives it a ton of potential. The big take home point? Don't be like Andrew or Icarus and overestimate the skills or the ability of your wings.